Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ebony. All right, you guys, let's talk about Nicki Minaj and Young Miami having a little fight, lol, right? On Twitter yesterday, that actually sent the internet in a frenzy. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, out of nowhere yesterday, Nicki Minaj did respond to Carisha promoting her show, Carisha Please, which actually features Summer Walker. Now, this is what Nicki had to say. Hits Diddy to advise him that a young lady on his show that appears to be on his network seems to have borrowed a very popular Queen Radio catchphrase, Puff, who representing you these days? I got my stuff drafted in my head, B. Young Miami, talking about you gonna get into some things. Um, child, anyway, so. Now, Nicki Minaj actually did get a response from Young Miami. And she said, Nick, what's really the problem? Because I definitely didn't get that from you. Let's get into something, child. Actually, is a gay slang. Now, Nicki says, Carisha, now you know dang well gay slang is the first go-to nowadays. Let's discuss it on Queen Radio, child. If I'm not hitting Puff right now. You know he used to manage me, right? Now it's my man, my man, my man. Puff, what up? Hit my line, child. Young Miami then says, bring me on Queen Radio. I'm ready when you are, Miss B. Nikki said, talking about gay slang. Carisha, please. Let's ask the gays, Miss B. Nikki then says, stops typewriter, looks at the first legal draft, rips it up. Here's Puff desperately calling my line, doesn't answer, gets my questions ready for Miss Carisha. So let's stop there. What did Nikki say? Here's Puff desperately calling my line, don't answer, gets my questions ready for Miss Carisha. So from my understanding, I'm feeling like, okay, either they're going on each other's shows or there is something in the works that they both have happening and they need the promo. The interesting part about this is that Papier, Nicki Minaj's producer, actually tweeted out something very interesting. He said, well, I think Nicki would sound amazing on this new Diddy and City Girls record I produced. Now let's stop there. What did Nicki say? She said, Diddy calling my line desperately. What would he be calling her for? Well, it could be a collab between Diddy the City Girls and Nicki. Who knows? But I'm telling you guys now, this was a joke. There are people literally on the internet who are slower than sloths. Nicki still follows Young Miami. Literally, you could tell that it was a very cute little banter. So I see people running with these narratives, seeing the blogs. They couldn't wait 10 seconds to report that Nikki was on Twitter with another female rapper. Like the panties were in a bunch. Not only was they tales of going, but they said, ooh, we finally got content only to be 100% wrong. All right. So you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. But remember, OK, read with comprehension. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next topic, which is obviously Nicki Minaj, OK, who has just gotten announced that she will be on the Barbie movie soundtrack with Ice Spice. Talk about wonderful. It's Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. You guys don't know how happy I am for Nikki. She is, in my opinion, the epitome of the original Barbie. And you can't have a Barbie movie without Nicki Minaj. Now, Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice were announced earlier today. As you guys see on the screen, here is the track list. And we have some great people on this album. We got some Dua Lipa. All right, we got Nicki, Ice Spice. We also get to hear from Khaled. We also, of course, have some Pink Panthers and Carol G. All right, my baby Carol G is also on on this track list and this is just amazing and you guys know what i just want to take the moment right to tell Nicki minaj how much we love her i know that a lot of people online are always criticizing nikki and i know a lot of you guys have been in my dms asking me about some of the issues that i've seen online or the think pieces and the reason i haven't really covered most of those is because i feel like nikki already gets so much hate that i didn't want to provide any more additional issues to her her, especially being someone who really you know is a fan of her music so to see that she is still pushing forward to see that she is still you know working as hard as she did when she first started rapping i'm so proud of her and this soundtrack is well and definitely deserved no one else in my opinion deserve this more than nikki and i'm so so proud of her so let me know what you guys think about this down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys so much and as always we will talk very soon Bye guys.